your first Horn 5 forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. It's been pretty warm the last couple of days. We could even say hot with temperatures into the upper 80s and the 90s. As we head into today, a little cooler, but still looking at 80s. But more importantly, we do see some rain and thunderstorms redeveloping as we head into the afternoon. So this will be our first rain since all the way back since Wednesday and definitely starting to need it as things are drying out. Let's go ahead and start off with the severe weather outlook for today. There is a marginal risk for one or two severe thunderstorms. It's certainly a possibility, but most of these storms today should stay below Low that severe level, although still staying strong and kind of like we saw on Wednesday, these storms are expected to be pretty slow moving, so they'll bring some heavy rain for a decent amount of time in any given location where they do start. Some hail is a possibility, and although a damaging wind gust or two is also possible, that chance still staying at the lower end too. So needless to say, if you do have outdoor plans, especially for the afternoon and the evening today, you'll just want to have an indoor backup plan in place just in case you do see a thunderstorm develop in your area. So this will be all as a cold front moves through the Great Lakes today. That cold front still off in Wisconsin on your first Warren 5 Sky Tracker. Zooming in closer to home here, your first Warren 5 Pinpoint Doppler live from MBS. All dry this morning, though. So let's go through your first Warren 5 hour by hour. Still staying dry through the morning and towards noon today, but you'll start to see these clouds developing, these cumulus clouds just ahead of that cold front. So that's more of those puffy clouds that you usually see. As we get towards 2 to 3 o'clock, that's when we start to see these showers and thunderstorms developing. Some of this development should be over in our western counties, too. But here we are at 3 o'clock, then fast forward towards 5 o'clock. Again, these storms not really moving all too much. So this is going to be, again, very similar to what we saw on Wednesday. And those reds indicating that some heavy rain is certainly going to be possible within these thunderstorms. But as we head through the evening, here we are at around 9 to 10 o'clock, past a few showers developing into the thumb. Most of us staying dry as we head into the evening and eventually overnight. And on your rain predictor, don't take these numbers exactly as they are for these given locations. But again, this is just pointing to the fact that how spotty some of these rain accumulations will be some of them on the lighter end, but some of them up towards an inch and a half of rain. That's especially if we can get these thunderstorms to really get going. But again, this will all be much needed after the last couple of hot and dry days that we have had. Here's a live look at CMU's campus in Mount Pleasant this morning. Everything very quiet here. Actually, plenty of sunshine coming in a pretty bright behind me there. We'll look at those temperatures into the 80s. This will be earlier this afternoon, so actually cooling off in the later afternoon once those storms use up some of that energy. But you will notice the humidity up a little higher than it was the last couple of days too. dew points getting into the 60s, but that's just for today. Humidity levels going back down tomorrow and into this upcoming week and looking at largely drier weather as we head into this week. But for your gardening forecast, I'd say we'll have to keep watering as we head into this week too. today. I'd say take a chance that you will get some rain, so maybe you can skip out on the watering today. But again, as we head into uh, the middle of this upcoming week, you'll need to start watering again. Seven day forecast also cooler this upcoming week looking at 60s making a return to the forecast, but Trevor, by the end of the week, we start to warm back up. All right, sounds good to me. Thanks, Matthew.